the best in precision rifle component innovation was something I thought was crazy. Tacom HQ, the same outfit that does the uh, Charlie Terak unit, they make barrels. And the engineer, uh, Mr. Baker, uh, he was an engineer that specialized in harmonics. If you look at a standard rifle barrel, there's only a certain amount of rigidity you can gain through adding weight before the barrel gets so darn heavy you can't carry the rifle. It's just too, too massive. A monolithic piece of metal has the reverberations transferred through it to go forward and backwards very easily because there's nothing there to interrupt that harmonic signature. And what they're finding with the uh, structured barrels is that the harmonic reverberations that do exist in the system can't reverberate evenly through it, so it interrupts the harmonic. Uh, they thought of every detail, man. It's machined around the outside where you've got threads, and those threads are interrupted, so the threads will go, then they'll stop. Then it'll resume for a second, and then it'll stop. And that's the finish on the outside. Theoretically speaking, it doesn't really have a harmonic node. So every load that we've put through this uh, during the load development phase, every single load was sub half minute. What we've got here, we got six charges going from 39, 39 and a half, 40, and continuing on up in, in half grain increments until we get to the load that we know shoots well with this. Good grief. Man, I wish I hadn't missed that other shot. Dirty. So that's, uh, that's six different powder charges, uh, and other than the one that, uh, that I pulled when the back of this recoil management module fell off the bench, five out of those six well, went into right around a third of an inch group at 100 yards. The first time I shot this thing when I did the barrel break-in and load development, um, as I was doing the ladder test, the first nine shots shot almost a zero group. It was sub half inch. I've never really seen that before. We switched over to factory ammo with this thing and the point of impact shift wasn't even a click. So a completely different bullet, completely different powder, completely different velocity, and our point of impact didn't even deviate by half a minute. And we have a standard deviation of 47.3. All those shots pretty much went into the same hole. I, I was just getting my dope together and had never shot it before, went to a mile and I was on, it took me, it did take me three shots to get on, but still, it, after that, it was just shot after shot after the shot. That tells me that one of the reasons for shot deviation in between loads is not just a velocity difference, but it is that harmonic whiplash pattern, as the theory has always said. And you can run any kind of ammunition in the barrel. We had all different kinds of ammo, different brands, totally different weights. Uh, one of them was in a 260 Remington, the AR-10 was. And we're running like 120s, 130-somethings, and 140s. And we're shooting at the target. And I had two of my other guys with me, the training cadre guys, to verify um, that we weren't crazy. I had three guys in a row get on it and shoot it. And These structured barrels work. Make no mistake about it. And so I had them shoot the rifle as well. And we're all putting all the same exact, all, all the different loads through the same hole. That's weird. And then I took it to 500 yards and it shot a sub two inch group at 500 yards. So that makes the fifth group in a row at 500 yards, sub half minute. And SDs and single digits. And the gun stays incredibly cool. One of the things I was most impressed with is how cool they stayed. And after, let's see, after about 25 rounds, the barrels just just barely, I can just barely feel it. After 25 rounds, the barrel's still cool. So wow, I mean, that's a big deal. When you're shooting ELR at extreme long range, to have that consistent temperatures, I think that's gonna pay dividends. I've shot out multiple 300 Norma barrels, and after 10 rounds, that barrel is extremely hot to the touch, and this one was not. In fact, the shot tack after 10 rounds the high we measured on temperature was 86 degrees, which is pretty ridiculous. I think that has a measurable impact on barrel life. It's a new design. I know we're all skeptical about changing barrels or believing in, in new technology, but this one seems legit. I'm very impressed with the barrel because you feel it's different. Yes, it's different. You feel it, it's, it doesn't whip, doesn't jump. It's dead. You just feel poof. What I found when we're looking at those barrels is that there's like nothing happening. It's totally dead. 
Like when you shoot a normal rifle, you don't notice, but there's a lot of chatter that happens in your cheek. And you'll feel it, the fatigue in your face after a certain amount of time if you shoot a lot of rifle rounds. This one's totally dead, so it pushes straight back. It's really stable. It is, isn't it? I, I, it doesn't push like a conventional barrel. It's just a lot uh, smooth, smoother. Um, it's just kind of a straight back push, a very clean push. There's no vibrations. You just feel poof. Like a lot of other people who have done reviews on these, the recoil feels different. It's hard to describe. Yeah, the recoil pulse is minimized. It's different. I'm actually having a hard time putting words to it. It's it's just a little smoother. It's not as abrupt. I I, I, I seem like I can track a lot easier on target. Uh, with my conventional setup, it it's kind of blows me around a little bit more. Uh, when you shoot this thing, it feels like a dead blow hammer. If any of you ever used one of those, you hit a dead blow hammer and it just stops. It doesn't vibrate or resonate. It's, it's similar to, to sh when you shoot with a good suppressor, mm -hmm. that you feel that the rifle is, the, the recoil and the forces are tamed and they are more stable. It's like shooting with a big integral suppressor on it, it's hard to explain. So this, I think I could be on target faster. Um, and the accuracy obviously is, is as good as my conventional setup but I don't have the barrel heating up and causing my velocities to rise up. And you can do a very simple test at 100 yards just shooting groups and all the different ammunition are shooting the same holes. We even had one of the rifles, I forget what kind of chassis was on it, but the buttstock was like, because they had just like put it on in a hurry because we we're like driving there earlier than they thought we were. And the buttstock was so loose, it was almost ready to fall off and it was just like wiggling all over. Normally, for those of you who are experienced in this deal, if you shoot a rifle with a loose buttstock like that, you're not getting minute of angle. You're getting like this or this or this. But with that, the gun was still one hole in it for the most part and had a half inch or a half minute of angle or maybe a three quarter minute flyer once in a while with a totally loose buttstock. And when you tighten it up, it's all in the same hole. That's crazy. So they've killed the whole barrel whiplash issue, they've, they've completely killed it. It's totally dead. Because this thing is basically harmonically dead. It's dead. If there is a harmonic node to be found in this barrel, it, it's probably pretty tiny. So I, I, really have, I really think that we have a product here. These structured barrels work, make no mistake about it. I was kind of pessimistic before, but my <laughs> there's not a doubt in my mind at this point. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> it, it's not like the other ones, but I'm going to tell you, it's, uh, th this thing is a shooter, and it's a serious advantage.